a few years ago, the government earmarked Buseruka sub-county in Hoima district as a suitable area for an oil refinery. Land totaling to 29 square kilometers was needed to provide space for the refinery's development and its attendant infrastructure such as an airport, waste management facility and petrochemical industries to mention a few. Residents from 14 villages are likely to be relocated if this project goes through. Many of them are already crying foul as the demarcation of the proposed land continues. The residents say they are being threatened with evictions and have not been compensated to enable them relocate to other areas. I remember when they came, uh, my, my friend even got a word, got a, got a, he was beaten and it shows a bad image, means that there is some hidden agenda which they don't want us to know. The systems should be transparent, people should be respected. All of us here seated, we should not say those are the people in Kabari. No, we need to wake up and work together to make sure that our government respects our rights. They are choosing a private company for irregularly executing the project. The company was allegedly commissioned by the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development to survey land and oversee payments. The residents say they are being threatened to sign documents to give away their land without any form of payment. Then you sign, you sign, the money has been paid to you, but the money is not being paid. Now the question is, community, people are worried. You are saying that uh, the money has been paid to me or received. Now suppose uh, you go and deposit less or you don't. They want government to regularize payments according to the current real estate threat. Officials from government, however, maintain that the process of compensation has been transparent and dismissed the reports. The, 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 that can't be true. Maybe the complainants are just people pretenders, are just pretenders. Only two weeks ago, three weeks ago, the Minister of Energy published in detail, first of all, how valuation is conducted, who conducts the valuation, and in the case somebody is contesting the valuation, how to, uh, make, to make appeal. There are appeal tribunals at sub county where there are local officials and representatives of government. So, really, that should not arise. Plans to construct an oil refinery in Hoima district are already underway, and the planned project will start with a smaller capacity refinery of about 20,000 barrels per day to be constructed in three to five years and later upgrade to 60,000 barrels of oil per day. Sohail Mugabe, NTV, Weekend Edition.